Hello my friends, how are you doing? Today I want to show you an amazing trick on how to improve your selections and save a lot of time. My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer and I want to thank all of my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. So in my last live stream we had a lot of fun and you saw me turn this photo into this picture and it was like a lot of fun it was a proof of concept that you can really improve any kind of picture with a little bit of extra work so it's turned into a sci-fi scene but one thing you can see here is that she's wearing a dark shirt and there is a light background and a lot of ambient light going on in the image and if we zoom in here you can see that the underside of her shirt has this kind of highlight situation going on and this makes the selection very difficult so let me switch over to the original picture and I will show you how to fix that and in a really easy and fast way so first of all of course we want to do the selection so we go here to our selection brush tool on the left side select that and then I will only select this area of the image just to show you how that works so I've painted over this you can see it made a good selection of that I will click on refine and we can even brush over these areas to try to fix them but Affinity Photo might not be able to resolve that because these brighter areas are still part of the shirt and this is like really hard for the software to distinguish. So to show you what the problem is here I will copy this on an extra layer. So Control C, Control V on your keyboard and now we have this area on an extra layer. To give you a better view on the problem I will put a dark rectangle behind it. You don't have to do this this is just to highlight the problem and you can see now in this area around her shirt we have this kind of glowing highlight so how do you remove that with ease well there's a very easy trick you want to go to your layer that you just copied where we have the arm on there and then hold control and click so this will recreate the selection so this will create a selection of everything that's in that layer that's important to understand and now what we want to do is basically three important steps and that is to go to select grow and shrink and with this window open here you want to hover over the number field not click in it just hover over it use your mouse wheel and if you scroll around you will see that the mask or the selection is going bigger and smaller so set it exactly to the area a little bit smaller than this kind of glowing area here so in this case minus five pixels good click on apply and now what we want to do is to blur the selection a little bit so we go again to select and then to feather and then we want to blur this by around the same amount that we set before so also five pixels in this case okay click on apply now the important thing to realize here is that at the moment we have the inside selected but we want to remove the outside so we have to inverse our selection so go again to select and then to invert pixel selection now the outside is selected and now make sure that you are on the layer so this layer is blue where you have the arm where you have the part that you want to edit and go over to your eraser brush tool you want to set the opacity 100 percent the size and the hardness well the hardness can be well we can leave it at zero the size depends on the resolution of your image and now simply paint over these parts to delete them make sure that you're not deleting anything you want to keep so this up here this blue light that is part of the neon light that is in front of her so we don't want to remove that we only want to remove this highlight from the arm you can see that it was very quick and now if we go back and deselect you can see now we have a nice clean selection and because of the feather it's also soft so it looks very good it's not pixelated at all and this will now enable us to have her arm and her clothing on top of a dark background without this kind of ugly glowing border around it okay again the blue area up here 
doesn't matter because if you look at the original picture you can see that this is part of the neon light in front of her so this can remain only this part has to be removed. Okay, in the next video, I will show you another amazing trick on how to improve selections that have become pixelated by the selection process. Look out for that. That's going to be a very cool and quick trick again. And of course, thank you for watching my videos. Maybe join my Facebook group. And now I also have a newsletter where you get a lot of extra cool information. So maybe also check that out. Thank you very much for watching my channel and see you soon. Bye.